In this lecture, we'll be learning two things. First one is installing a local web server for our Visual Studio Code editor. And we'll also take a look at how to install Vue.js in our project. The first thing that we need to do in order to install a local web server is create a package.json file inside our project directory. So here my project name is view code demo and that's the name of my directory as well. Now inside this directory I've created a file called package.json with the following attributes. Once you have created this file just save it and then in your integrated command editor you can just type in this command called npm install. Now the prerequisite to this is you must have node installed on your machine which you can do by visiting the Node.js website. That is by visiting this URL, nodejs.org. And here you can download the long-term support version. Once you have Node installed, create the package.json file inside the project directory and then just execute this command npm install. Once that's done, you just need to execute this npm start. And to make sure that it launches your index.html file, just create one over here with a sample text like I have done with this message hello world it's a new view and then you'll see that in your browser you'll get this message hello world it's a new view and this is in sync with the editor so if I make a change over here let me resize it so that you can view it so now if I just make a change over here and save the file you'll see that it got refreshed and the content is updated as well. So that was how to install a local web server for our Visual Studio Code Editor. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can install Vue.js in our project. In order to install Vue.js, I would recommend you visit this URL where they have provided detailed instruction. Now there are two versions of Vue available, that's development version and production version. The production version is obviously stripped so you won't be able to read it. If you want to go ahead with the development version in order to find out how the code has been written, you can download that or you can go ahead with the production version. We have CDNs available as well but as this site mentions that it takes some time to update them. So it's better to have a local copy of the view library. You can also install it using npm by this command and let's go ahead and do that. npm install view. So here in this editor I'll be launching one more and here I'll be using the command npm install view. Press enter and there you go inside the node modules directory you can see that the view library has been downloaded and installed. Here you can see the distribution version, minified runtime and all, and then the source and other dependent files. So using npm we have installed view. Now there are two builds available for view and that's standalone versus runtime. Now the standalone build is something which has got the compiler for converting templates to JavaScript render functions whereas the runtime build does not include the template compiler and that's the reason it's a bit lighter as well compared to the standalone version. Now the npm code that we have installed comes with the runtime only build and in order to make use of template compilers we will have to update our package.json file. So here in our package.json file We'll simply have this included as well and we'll have to restart our web server. So once we have restarted our web server using the command npm start we can include the library over here the one which we have inside the node modules view directory and from here you can make use of the distribution directory and make use of vue.min.js and and here you can see that we have all the versions available, VUE min as 70 KB and VUE runtime min with 49 KB. 
so you can see the difference as well and you can include that specific file which you want over here now once that's done there's one more way of creating viewe project and that is more or less used for single page applications but that gives you a good head start rather than doing all these stuff in bits and pieces you can simply follow one command and your viewe project is created so let's go ahead and explore that as well so inside this directory itself i'll be closing this terminal and opening a new one and here the first thing that we need to do is install VUE CLI using this command and install global VUE CLI and once that is installed our next step will be create a new project using the webpack template I've given it a name as view demo let's press enter now and just provide the information as it's requesting you to like project name description author as school bakery so I'll be making use of a runtime plus compilers you can use the arrow key up and down arrow key to make the selection and the one which is highlighted in blue color is the active one that's your selection so let's press enter now press Y for ESLint you can make the selection for pre-OSS standard if you want to set up test unit test you can make the selection as Y for yes and N for no and there you go you can see that the directory view demo is created now and it's and it tells you how to start the project and let's go ahead and follow up the instruction also I'll be going inside the view demo directory and inside this I'll be running npm install again over here so it will again have the node modules directory created inside this as well and once it's done we just need to run this command npm run dev press enter now and there you go you have your view project up and ready let's take a look at the page source over here and this is the only file that you'll see in your source code let's go ahead and take a look at the code that's generated using the CLI so here inside our view demo this is the index.html file and that's all you see over here let's open up the package.json file and here you will have the information like the project name that I entered as Y description as well as Y the author was still bakery and the scripts that were required for development build and for lint then we have all the dev dependencies over here coming from the node module directory that we have over here and this is the version of node and npm that we have and here the src directory that you see is the place where all the actual files are kept so the assets like the logo that you see and the components that we have like hello view this is the template which is simple HTML and here you can see the contents coming up so the content that you see on this page is actually coming from the file hello.view and we'll be coming up to these things what exactly this MSG means inside two curly braces but here you can see that the links are mentioned clearly and then here as well these are the style attributes applied and this is the message that you see over here define export default name hello and it says welcome to your Vue.js app so that's coming from the components let's take a look at app.view now this app.view is actually importing the component hello having the logo coming up over here inside the image tag and then it also includes the style attribute for the application that is the div id with app then we have the main.js file 
Now the main.js file makes use of the import statement and here it imports the view library using import view from view and then it imports app as well from the file app view inside the src directory and then it creates a new component using view and this is the app component getting created and then passed over here so that's the template which will be used and this is the component that will be rendering this template and this is the element where the whole component will be rendered that's the app div that we see inside the app.view so inside this div you'll see everything coming up the hello view component that we have defined over here so this was just a introduction on how we can install a local web server for our visual studio code editor as well as how to install different versions of Vue.js, including the command line tools and generating a spa project out of it